close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and keep watching the breath each time it comes in, each time it goes out. You're training the mind in this way because it helps you to see your own mind. If your mind's wandering around all over the place, you don't get to see what it's doing because you're in the wandering. But if you can stay still here in the present moment, then when the mind goes out, you can see it. You can see what kind of you can see what kind of direction it's going, why it's going, what it hopes to get out of it. And you can decide whether it's really worth going or not. This is a really important skill to have, because your mind does shape your life. And if you don't keep control over your mind, it's going to give some, some strange shapes to your life. So it's just try to stay right here and really pay attention to what's going on. Meditation isn't just a ceremony. It's not just a ritual. It's you really are paying attention to what the mind is doing, and you can see it in action when it's creating the causes for happiness, when it's creating the causes for stress and suffering. You want to see that, because that, that way the knowledge becomes your own. If you don't really pay attention like this, the only knowledge you have about the Dharma is what you read in books or you hear somebody else say. But for the Dharma to become your own, you have to watch and be observant for yourself. Sometimes you sit here and say, well, nothing's happening. Well, for the time being, nothing's happening, but you have to wait and pay lots of attention because sometimes little things happen and you don't see them. It's like going out hunting. You can't make a, an appointment with the animal you're hunting, saying, I want you to show up at such and such a place and I'll have dinner in time. Sometimes you have to sit there very long hours and wait for the animal to show up, knowing, placing yourself in a place where the animals are likely to come. And then when they show up, you've got them. It's the same with them, what your mind is doing right now. Sometimes it's very quiet, as if nothing were going on. It's, you make another comparison. It's like children in a schoolroom. When the teacher's in the room, the children behave themselves very well. As soon as the teacher leaves the room, they start running around hitting each other. So sometimes while you hear the present moment, nothing's happening in your mind. Well, that's a good thing. Your, your mind isn't giving rise to a lot of greed, aversion, and delusion. And if you can catch these things out of the corner of your eye, then you understand, okay, this is how they come, and this is how I can learn how not to fall for them. All this comes from your paying careful attention. The quality is called jitta in Pali, giving it your full attention, because that's how you learn. And the knowledge then really does become your own. You don't have to listen to Dharma talks. You know for yourself this is the way the mind works, because you've seen it in action. <laughs>